guys, Jill here, and I have another card for you where I'm using my Distress Oxide inks to paint as well as make a background. And this one is featuring my Lawn Fawn Hoppy Easter stamp set. I figured I'd make something a little bit more whimsical. So first we're going to paint these bunnies. I'm just going to show you the one. So I'm going to use my Art Impressions watercolor palette, and I'm going to put some colors on here. So first I'm going to color the basket. So I started out trying to use my watercolor brush, and I found that I had, well, too much water. So I used the amber color to color in the basket, and I right away switched over to my number four brush. These are just the inexpensive ranger brushes. And I use some water, which dulls these colors down and it's what makes them nice and chalky. And I colored the basket. Then I'm coming in with the cracked pistachio color to color the bunny. I'm gonna put on an even layer, but I first played around with some different um, types of shadow. I wanted to go for kind of a plastic look, like if it was a plastic egg, because I don't want these to look like chocolate bunnies. I wanted these to look like eggs. So I put the shadows along the edges, and I think I did a pretty good job because my husband recognized right away what I was going for. So. I went with these bright colors. I went with the Cracked Pistachio for this one. The other one is the, um, oh, I can't think of the blue color. I put it on my blog. And then the Wilt of Violets, the purple one. But um, yeah, I went with the really bright colors. And what I like about the Distress Oxide inks is that they are bright but with the chalky look to them, they almost get that pastel. So I dry it in between the layers and that's what allows me to actually layer and add to them. And I really like that about them. I'm really enjoying painting with them. And I thought I'd try something other than a flower, something like the Lawn Fawn images and once again, I really enjoyed them. So as you see here, I'm coming in, adding the roundness to them, but I'm not adding my shadow just around the edges to make it look round. I'm actually adding a reflection to them to make them look plasticky. And um, then I'm also adding that pink into the ears and again, with the oxides, they they get that chalky finish to them. So that, see how bright pink that goes on? Well, with the water, it dulls it back. So again, loving that fact about these inks. As you can see, that pink is not so bright pink. Um, the basket, it looks so flat. So I came in with Vintage Photo and added a little bit of that brown and it made the basket look a little bit more three-dimensional. So I was really happy with that. And for all of those edges that were so covered by the chalkiness, I just came in with my Micron pen and um, just drew over the images. And I did that on all three of the bunnies. I redrew over the lines. And this is a five. And then I cut out everything. Okay, so now for my background, I'm coming in with a Ranger number eight tag. Now, the thing about this is I didn't do the typical technique where you put it on the Ranger mat. I actually came in with the smushing technique. And what I like about this is you put it on a transparency and then you put it onto your tag. What that does is it gives you a lot of control. And the control I had is I made smaller droplets and fewer droplets. And by having the control, I didn't, I, I was able to put everything where I wanted it. And then um, as you can see again with the oxides, 
What I love about them is they dry back chalkier and with that whitish finish, that milky finish over the top. And that's giving the pastel look, which is really nice for Easter and really nice for spring. And so by my choice of colors, it gave an Easter feel. So again, um, I really like these colors. I just chose the three dried in between layers. And if there was too thick of a dot or a drop, I, I dried it off with my paper towel and then dried it. I was really careful to dry in between layers and clean everything in between layers. And as you can see, I'm using my transparency to, to make my little dots smaller and my, my droplets smaller so that my background is exactly what I want it to be. And I add a lot of pink to it to set off those bunnies because the only pink in the bunnies is the ears, their cheeks, and their noses. So um, that really offset the color of the bunnies. And I'm loving how the Manila tag takes this color. So that's all I did there, but I really love the smushing technique with the transparency. It gives me a lot of control. Okay, so I'm using the Lawn Fawn frames to frame out my three bunnies. Now, this footage is really fuzzy. I had a really hard time getting this over from my cloud, so sorry about that, but I wanted you to see it. So I'm putting it in my Mini Misty and um, making sure that the greeting is where I want it to be. I stuck everything down with my Tombow Mono Multi and the frame is white so then i'll stick my two bunnies down i want you to see this technique not my cat um not that one at least okay so i'm using my centering ruler so i can get the bunnies on each side i'm going to stick the two bunnies on each side down i have a plan for the one in min the middle to use the mini action wobble that you see up there in the middle of the screen so I stuck each of the two bunnies down and then I know where I want my greeting. I'm going to stick, use my greeting with the Versafine Onyx Black ink in that right there. The background is with the um, rainbow 6x6 Lawn Fawn plaid paper. I use, chose the pur purple print. I think it really set things off and again I'm using the Lawn Fawn frame. I didn't stick pop anything up because I think with the action wobble it sticks up plenty and I'm just going to cover that up onto just a basic card with some nice thick cardstock and again I'm sticking that down with my Tombow. Okay so now the last part is to sorry I had a little overhang there, is to set in my action wobble. So they're really simple. You just choose which side you want. Oh and I want to get it lined up. So one side will make it wobble different. So I chose this one because it's going to give it a really good wobble and it just fits on this bunny. And these again are the mini. Okay, so stick it on there really good, and then you're going to peel off all of the backing. I don't know if I needed to peel off that little mini section. I think I'm pulling off like a counterweight or something there. So, whoops. <laughs> okay, so let's stick that on. And then here's my favorite part of the whole video. It's when I actually am going to start the wobble. Now, normally it would just be the wobble part, but now watch this. Watch what the wobble activates. It activates the curiosity of Caesar. Look at him. And actually he's meowing right now in the background. <laughs> Okay, now this is sped up twice, so he really didn't go that nuts, but there you have it. 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and please check out my blog. I'll have the link below, and as always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day.